okay so josna thanks a lot for your time uh, you are sharing your uh, intro experience with me today for account officer post in hpcl and you are chartered accountant yes sir thank you josna for your time so josna before i ask you to share with us in detail about uh, your experience in hpcl uh, i want your brief introduction uh, which uh, which you want to tell us about you yeah sure sir sir my name is jyotsna and i'm a chartered accountant i have qualified in november 2020 attempt sir mm -hmm. and um, this uh, hpcl um, um, this no a uh, recruitment notification came out in march so i have applied there I applied then and by the time uh, after applying i have also uh, i was also trying for other interviews so i joined deloitte uh, uh before join before giving interview for hpcl and um um briefly that is about myself sir okay so just now i want to ask you a couple of things here before we go for detail uh, into experience uh, please tell me whether a job experience was mandatory for this post no sir it was for a fresh year okay and uh, you uh, how many months or years of job experience you were carrying before interview uh just uh, in two months sir two months okay and is there any written test or something for you no sir it's just based on the ca final marks okay and uh, interview so, so what was the shortlisting criteria for interview call uh sir i have applied in obc category sir so for that we have to get 59% in uh, ca final okay so and my percentage was 67% so whosoever will get it they will get a call right yes sir so the same thing is there for other public sectors also um uh, actually uh, that might not be the case sir because i applied for uh, ongc also in campus but i didn't get selected hmm. so okay so just now let's come to this actual interview it was only interview or group discussion kind of thing was also there actually in the recruitment notification they mentioned about a gd also sir Okay. but uh, i think it might be due to covid uh, they removed the gd round and uh, directly carried on with the interview personal interview okay. so it was online interview or offline uh, we were asked to uh, report at the uh, nearest location sir so mm -hmm. i am asked to report at hyderabad location and from there on the virtual interview was uh, carried out okay great so you went to the center and then you sit there and then that is how it was going yes mm. so now tell me in detail josna how was it uh, actually uh, when i went to the when i visited the uh, office first they asked for the uh, document verification sir mm -hmm. so all the ca mark sheets and uh, the caste certificates um our membership ca membership certificates all they have they will take and they will compare with the originals and uh, after the document verification they um, they took me to a conference room sir and there the interview process were uh, held on mm -hmm. uh, the panel was of six members sir mm -hmm. and uh, they started with uh, 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 with my introduction first mm -hmm. so i briefly explained about myself and uh, uh, about my studies and uh, Uh, uh the fact that i joined deloitte already and i have been working uh, there for two months okay. so after that uh, they uh, continued with questioning uh, why i am interested in hpcl when i am already working in deloitte and i am a really new joiner also mm -hmm. so i explained that this was my dream job and uh, even prior to joining deloitte i applied and i wanted to get into it but uh, since uh, this was a good opportunity i didn't want to turn it down that is the reason i accepted it but i was waiting for hpc so okay. that's how i convinced them sir okay and then and then they uh, talked about my interest sir they they uh, they just talked uh, from the resume that you have mentioned about uh, that you like stock market so do you invest uh, Uh, do you invest uh, in any stocks or derivatives they asked me like that sir so when i tell uh, when i told them that yeah i made investments they asked me 
uh, what investments you have made and why did you choose those stocks mm-hmm. so i told them that uh, they, these are the stocks that uh, that were undervalued comparing to the industry and i read their annual reports and all so that is how i made those investments and uh, i also had uh, nism certifications uh, in equity and currency derivatives mm-hmm. so they asked me why you uh, um, why you took those certification courses and uh, how do you think they will help in uh, hpcl okay uh, so i told them that uh, these are uh, uh, currency derivatives because the hpc CL is all is mainly involved in two imports mm-hmm. so it requires foreign exchange so i think this knowledge will help me in hpcl i answered them that yes sir mm-hmm. and then they moved to my strengths and weaknesses that i mentioned in the resume mm-hmm. uh in the weakness part that i mentioned that uh, sometimes i'll be over productive and sometimes i'll be a bit over idle so they asked me uh, if we give you some work and you prove to be over idle uh, for some of the time then uh, do you think it is the best option best decision for us to give you this job i explained them that uh, th- that was the uh, why i have mentioned uh, that as my weakness was when i was studying we had a lot of time because of covid the exams were Uh, continuously getting postponed mm-hmm. so uh, as we had lot of time and less to read uh, for some days i i used to study a lot and some days i used to uh, study i did not study at all May, that might be the reason to believe for me to believe that uh, i was over productive and over idle but now when i'm working i don't find myself doing that anymore so i believe that i changed i convinced them like that sir so they got con- they got convinced and uh, they moved to other questions like uh, you have you mentioned that you have good communication skills and you um, interacted with clients directly so uh, what is one situation that you convinced a client uh, in some issue or something they asked that question uh, so i told them that doing articles uh, there was one requirement for client uh, for to do that procedure there was no audit trial for them so uh, i just explained how we convinced the client and we also designed an standard operating procedure there okay so that's all just and uh, they asked me about the uh, whether i'm willing to locate to uh, relocate to any place given an opportunity in hpcl so yes i i told them that i would be uh, moving okay so how long was this entire interview uh, it went around for 30 minutes sir okay so are, were you satisfied yeah then yeah sir actually very much because so far i have attended only in private uh, interviews only mm-hmm. for to attend an interview with a panel of six members was first time for me and it was really good so no just no then it was great anything else you want to add here uh yes sir and um, um i got the offer also sir but um, i want to thank you sir really really thank you because i used to be very nervous uh, because this was my dream job literally so i used to get nervous a lot um and and i think um, i strongly believe that this was the right decision to take this course from you you really helped me a lot you finally got selected just now yes sir great so, uh, when are you going to join it uh, august 4th week sir and the exact date is not yet announced great so you are going to start a great career in hpcl yes sir okay. thanks a lot sir so where where do you think they will post you um so uh, for joining location for training and all they asked me to report at pune and at induction and training they'll be uh, informing us about the posting location okay and so, you are from which part of india i'm from hyderabad sir okay so you may be shifted from hyderabad to some other right yes sir okay great so just now i'm uh, very happy that you got selected i was not knowing that and it's really great uh, thing and uh, uh, 
you know we will uh, bother you sometime when uh, chartered accountants like you will seek some kind of uh, information and guidance maybe we will bother you for uh, such guidance fine right? just now yeah sure sir thanks a lot sir thank you bye sir